feel it now It's all around me A silent voice I can't deny A mother's First December 1987. In continuation with yesterday's class. Now that you belong to the highest on high father, just is the father, so are the children, are they not? For children, it is always said, son shows the father. Who is merged, so are you like that? Who is merged in the hearts of all of you? Whoever is in your heart will be in your intellect, in your words and in your thoughts. You all bring cards of heart, do you not? You also send gifts of heart. So they are the images of your stage that you send, are they not? Images of stage, gifts and cards, are they not? For those who constantly remain in the father's heart, will always automatically say and do the things that are equal to those of the father. Man is a triangle where there is heart, one end, mind, at the other and consciousness at the other the third end consciousness is the depth above that is the heart and then the mind the mind is the outmost layer heart is in between and consciousness is the last and the lowest layer of being. Baba says, whatever is in your heart, that will come on the surface. So whatever there is on the surface is just the external manifestation of what is there in the heart. If there is anger in the heart, it will manifest in the form of some unruly or rude behavior on the surface. If there is love in the heart, it will manifest itself in the form of cooperation, in the form of making others go in front of you. So whatever is in the heart that comes on the surface, 
if there is a deep sense of gratitude for somebody that will come on the surface in the form of sweet words like thank you or a lot of blessings to that soul so we are what our heart is made up of while this mind thing is always shouting screaming there's a continuous chit chat going on half of which is irrelevant nonsensical the real thing is heart not this mind mind keeps on telling you do this do that look here look there see what he is doing see what is doing so tendency of the mind is outward and heart is within and below both of these is consciousness so fill your heart with love fill your heart with joy and the same will come on the surface fill your heart with the waves of knowledge and the same waves would get transformed in the form of word waves action waves and mind is extremely restless mind is a very greedy fellow it wants it wants what is greed greed means ever is greed greed for money greed for money you know the word greed has come from sanskrit word there is one animal vulture in hindi or sanskrit is known as gidd this vulture he is a very greedy animal it feeds on the flesh of dead bodies from this gidd has come the word greed sanskrit word you know parsis how do they cremate their bodies dead bodies there is a well there is a well kuwa and there are rods kept here such rods are there so they keep the dead body on the top of that those rods so the vultures come and they eat and whatever that is remaining like bones and excreta that falls down in the well so they are waiting vultures for dead bodies to come they pray to god oh god please send somebody today and the parsis believe that why do parsis do this why they give the dead bodies to the animals to eat because throughout your whole life you are you have eaten others now it's your time to be eaten by others you had been meat eater you had been animal eaters you had been vegetable eaters even vegetables have got life so they believe that you had been killing now it's a time for you to be eaten by somebody mumbai is the place where there are the huge parsis it is the hub of parsis so if you want to see you have to go to mumbai and they have such many wells and in those wells they keep dead bodies and the vultures come and they eat and that is their food and this is how the dead bodies are disposed of so the vulture is called gidd and from the word gidd has come the word greed so that is the origin of the word greed so mind is a greedy thing mind wants more more and more and more mind is never satisfied if you have one you want another if you are another you want third it is never satisfied that is the nature of the mind no matter how much you are given mind says bring me more bring me more i need i am i am thirsty and i am hungry the thirst and the hunger never goes away picture of well hmm the picture yeah this is how they get rid of the dead bodies even in death 
you should be useful to somebody not like hindus who burn not like muslims who cremate or christians or jews who cremate the body so there are two things one is mind another is heart so mind is greedy greedy guy heart says i don't want anything heart is satisfied mm. so baba says what your heart is full of whatever will be there in your heart will be expressed so if love is there in your heart it will be expressed somewhere outside that's why you give to baba greetings of the shape of heart cards of heart gifts of heart shape you have been waiting for the bridegroom to come from 2500 years in today's murli sakar murli baba said now the beloved has come now the bridegroom has come so when here comes the bridegroom the soul should be ready to go with him your wait is finished your devotion intense devotion people do in today sakar murli baba said they do lot of sacrificial fire tapasya donation and yet i don't come to them i don't get i you cannot get me through scriptures when it is my time then only i come so fill your heart with real stuff forget the mind get rid of the mind mind causes disturbance come to the no mind stage mind consists of thoughts desires emotion feelings and memories and those many things when i say heart it just doesn't means feelings and emotions heart is something real heart in fact baba says heart means intellect heart of soul means intellect of the soul so heart means the very depth of your being our intrinsic nature what is my intrinsic nature so my intrinsic nature is love next sunday's murli is on love baba says love is a magnet which transforms the impure soul into pure soul love does miracle if you only have love and no knowledge it's enough but love itself is no greatest knowledge in the world so fill the heart with love and then you don't have to do anything on the surface god is the seed of human dream sakar murli today's sakar murli and next sunday's murli says when you water the seed you automatically water every leaf so you don't have to satisfy every soul just keep on watering the seed loving the seed when you love the seed god is the seed of this human tree just love him remember him remember me alone think of yourself as soul repeatedly think of yourself as soul and remember me alone so when you remember the seed automatically he is the ocean of love so when you remember ocean of love automatically you start loving every soul and you realize that we all are connected to each others the whole ocean the whole universe is the waves of love you realize your identity with everyone you realize that i and you are not different we are all one it is not just i am talking about brotherhood but also vibes this is the one ocean of vibration the whole universe and there are waves and waves and waves and waves and waves every soul is a set of waves so we all are waves of love and i realize that i am just a drop and without this ocean i am incomplete and every soul what i inhale i inhale and exhale i inhale what somebody has exhaled we all are linked with each other not just human beings but the animate and inanimate objects trees the five elements mountains the water everything is connected to each other so i am everywhere and everything is in me 
this is spiritual realization of the soul when i realize my oneness with everything so no matter somebody is poor somebody is rich somebody is vip somebody is not but for me everyone is same because i have realized the oneness in each and every soul we see in our medical practice there are souls who are very poor some patients are extremely poor coming from villages and most of the time the attitude towards them is not as is the attitudes towards vip but i always feel that the same spirit is sparking in them they are the same children of god they are the same souls who are coming from that supreme abode so we all are one in one way everything is one brahmin or non brahmin yesterday's murli baba said greetings badhai and mubarak and congratulations to every soul no matter whether they are gyani or agyani let them be what they are intellectual or non intellectuals ignorant extremely ignorant Ill- illiterate service to them is service to god when you realize this jivatma as the part of shivatma then a real transformation starts taking place each is equally important to me every one of them shiva gnani jiva seva so this thing becomes service so let the spirit of oneness arise when i realize that everything is one everything is part of me when a person is hurt i am hurt you know when shri ramkrishna was passing he was taken by his devotees one boat and they were traveling crossing the river and suddenly ramkrishna started shouting oh please please don't bite don't beat me don't beat me and the devotees were shocked they said who is beating you we are with you here sitting he said please don't beat me stop 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 and there definitely there were marks on his back of stick and when they reached the shore one rich man was beating a landlord was beating a poor man so the devotees were shocked to see that and they asked what is this and the ram krishna said this landlord is beating that man and i feel that my consciousness is permeated in every consciousness my being every being is me the pain of other person is my pain so when that person is hurt i am hurt when the consciousness rises to that platform of spirituality you feel the whole universe is one and you are one with everyone no matter who that person is i give equal importance to that person that is the stage of spirituality we have to reach aspire om shanti om shanti now that you belong to the highest on the high father as is the father so are the children are they not for the children it is always said son shows father so are you like that who is merged in the heart of all of you whoever is in your heart will be in your intellect in your words and in your thoughts you all bring cards of the heart do you not you also send gift of the heart so they are images images of your stage that you send are they not so those who constantly remain in the father's heart will always automatically say and do the things that are equal to those of the father avyakta murli 31st december 1987 om shanti